Hello and good evening, and welcome to Let's Play Naruto Clash of Ninja Revolution 2 on the Nintendo Wii. I'm your I'm your host, Love Muffins. I'm all fired up and ready to go. Oh boy. <laughs> so just like last time, this entire thing's gonna be live and in my Naruto marathon. Uh, this is actually for the longest time, this is actually my favorite Naruto game. Period. I mean, Clash 2 was pretty amazing. I already owned all the Ultimate Ninja games before this. I dropped the line to Ted. I already owned, and I still own all th the first three Ultimate Ninja games. They're alright, but honestly, Rev 2 is the thing that holds my attention the most. Well, in, ter in terms of like qu uh, content, all the shit they threw in, how much they improved the formula overall, I'm just like, oh my god, dude. This is nuts. Oh, and also, my favorite intro and favorite intro music in any Naruto game ever. Period. Jesus Christ, I wish my was large eyes. Hey, new guy. No, folks, he's not Mega Man. Sorry. Oh, he is voiced by Roger Craig Smith, which is almost as awesome. And he's on the story mode. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, man. <laughs> when you construct an intro uh, for a video game, Naruto that's how you bring the hype. Ninja I'm actually not sure if they change the, the person who gives a narration for the game like that at, at any point. Alright, so before jumping into this game, uh, they made some tweaks to this game, and I'm going to show them off right now. I mean, the beginning of the last game, well, I already showed the base of the combat, so I figured, you know what, since it doesn't do that for this game, I'm just going to jump right into the new stuff they added. Mostly being, uh, two, now you can actually have full-on tag teams, where it's not just a giant mix free-for-all, where all the characters are on screen at the same time. It's actually sort of like, uh, I think Tatsunoko versus Capcom. I don't know if any of you guys even looked at that game before. So I've asked Kakashi to come and help us out. Yeah, it's gonna be the partner for the next game too. Oh, that's my version. As you'll be dealing with two characters, they will be referred to the following way. The character fighting on the screen, coming Naruto, will be a calling active character or active. And standby character. Let's start with swapping. When fighting now, to be told, this thing is actually incredibly simple. Uh, since I'm, I'm still using the game controller, everything is relegated to the Z button in terms of tagging. Uh, the game says there's a lot of depth to be had just by using the tag system. Uh, 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 excuse me, that's burp one. Alright, so, for most cases, swapping... Yeah, so, whenever you tag out, it costs like 25% chakra. Not that big of a deal if you know how to place it well. And the, and the funny thing is, it's actually completely invincible uh, on non-startup, but when executing. So, if you're like, anticipate a tag, you can get like a pseudo parry on him. It's gonna be, the game's gonna show that in a little bit. And you can use it for like, uh, Something like tag assaulting from Tekken Tag Tournament 2. Something like that. You can swap at any time, and the incoming teammate can also move and attack immediately. Yeah, so it's actually pretty used. It's pretty good for what it's trying to accomplish in terms of attack system. Although it could use some more fleshing out, but yeah. Alright. Swap while attacking dry. There you go. You can make use of this I think you can do that to do some cool shit, but honestly, uh, I'm looking at it now, and I'm thinking just you have way too much chakra for what you're trying to accomplish. 
follow-ups that are impossible alone. Yeah, follow-ups that will never be explained ever. <laughs> uh, I wish they at least had like a uh, something like Street Fighter 4 where you actually have like a combo breakdown and stuff you can do with individual characters. Uh, okay, swap. Sent. Alright, so. So apparently that, that choose a 50% chakra, but considering it's completely invincible on execution, I say it's actually pretty good. Although apparently it's unsafe, like, when they're in, so I don't know. Time is badly, you may get hit by a combination attack. Damn. You can even swap just after you have taken damage. Yep. Careful. Let's run. This is <laughs> easier than performing a substitution jutsu, but it isn't as safe. Yeah, that sucks. How much are just six of, six of substitutes? Thank you very much. Uh, time your swap carefully, and you'll be able to strike more effectively. However, I think substitutions beat this any day of the week, but that's just me. Make sure 90% of the game you'll be playing this solo anyway, so I don't think it matters. Alright, this is where it gets really useless because. Well, who the hell uses. Uh, I, I can't imagine anyone who actually uses uh, cover continuously in this game. I mean, sure, you can use it without consuming any chakra, but really. A game like this where you use L and R to like, sidestep, that's just bad. When your squad mate goes down, you'll be forced. Okay, we're fighting a two-man squad. I think I'm skipping too fast. Shit. Uh, if your squad mate is not too far away, you won't be able to swap for some time. Yeah, that's actually pretty, pretty funny, and uh, that's where the paper bombs gonna come in later. These are things you need to watch out for, but so does your opponent. Yeah, I've heard a double-edged sword, are we? Hmm. Did you use it? Usual stuff. I'll teach you something only available to members of a two-man squad. Combination secret <laughs> And sadly, it's kind of stale after a while, they unless you're using specific teams, which you're never going to use otherwise. Alright, so the idea is you have team attacks, or like, uh, well, so then, let's see yeah. you, two perform a combination special technique. you got it! And if you don't have... This animation right here is for every single team attack ever, unless it's like a specific team that does it. I might do like a mini showcase of all the car <laughs> Well, it's better than just believe it. I might do a little showcase of all the uh, team attacks later. It is honestly not but not that much. It's not very impressive, but yeah, whatever. I honestly think that uh, what was that game? What was that game? Uh, Gekuto Ninja Tyson 4, where it actually had three characters per team. That was pretty baller. I don't, need, I don't say baller often, so why I say it, it does count for something. A two-man squad thus greatly increases your options. Watch your timing and maximize your potential as a team. And the game will never show you how to do that. God damn it. Uh, in the beginning winner, I should, I should actually show off. Okay. Uh, this I would do, except I did not play with a weird mountain nunchuck. Uh, I might do it later for funsies. I don't know. So we're done for paper, paper bomb tutorials, which is actually pretty fucking cool in my opinion. This is a really cool addition. Now I'm going to teach you about paper bombs. This is a tricky subject, but you need to make the most of all your tools. Oh, I like to call it fucking with your opponent. Now let me show you how to use one. Of them. All you have to do is throw a kunai with a paper bomb attached. Yeah, that's easy for you to say, but I can't do that with a GameCube controller. Alright, so, idea. Idea is to just hold down the L and R button, and press the A button, and boom, done. The funny thing is, it, it does consume like 25% of your chakra, which I don't know why it does for using a kunai, but uh. Oh, yeah, that's the kicker. It's unblockable. If you hit an opponent when they are not guarded, I'm not saying a lot, it's because what's well, a tutorial, and I kinda want dry to speak. Alright. Unfortunately, this is automated, so I cannot do anything. Oh no, the free hits! And dry didn't do shit, and that's kinda. <laughs> then this happens. Yeah, that happened. This really sent your opponents flying. It's a very useful attack. As I said before, these can't be guarded against. Like usual, they'll explode if touched. You've only got two choices. Dodge them completely, or reflect them back. 
But you could duck them. Let's see. Use a kunai knock back and bonus. What's the yeah? Basically, you use a kunai to open up your op options offensively. Now this is where it gets weird. All right, check this out. Well, is dry gaze in or am I? Oh, okay. All right, you see a little seal around it? Yeah, that's a strange part. Unfortunately, this is what I meant by no one uses uh, cover whatsoever because you can do this, and it's awkward enough to do as it is. I like how dry just looks like he's sticking out so much from the background. They don't have check out they don't have shadows in that in that shot. What the hell? Things a little oversight. Now they have shadows. Oh, this is where it gets fun. Alright, truth be told, I would use this as a trap. I just use this because it acts. I got I actually didn't figure this out on the year now. I found this out completely by accident. One day I was playing a lot of Marvel 3 using Wesker, his OTT gunshot, which stands for off the ground by the way. So I was like, hmm, I wonder if I could do it with paper bombs. You can. <laughs> Not completely though, it doesn't hit when they're like, fl like flying on the ground like a tech roll, it's like when you bounce them off the ground you can use that and just g go for a ridiculous combo afterwards. I found some good subs, actually I did manage to discover one thing with Naruto in the next game that's basically like an infinite. Under these circumstances, you'll have to quickly spot the threat to avoid it. That's how it usually goes. It isn't a surprise attack if you see it coming after all. Now, <laughs> I'll attack you. Guard both my attack and my paper bomb. Think you can do it? The trick is to skillfully. Here I come. Again. All right, the idea here. Just guard back. Just hold just hold back. That's all there is to it. Now you'll just need to get a handle on this in real battle. That'd be nice. Uh, one more thing. Paper bombs that have been thrown won't stick around forever. They lose their effectiveness after a while. And you have so you can fuck with them by detonating them. You can also defuse or erase opponent's explosive. Yeah. Give it a try. Good luck with that though. Cause check look at look at how you do it. Alright, that's not it. <laughs> Oops. Up too much. Just relax. Just relax, give it a shot. Alright. God damn it, why, why is my control doing this today? Almost. Ah, I stepped right into it. I'm too good. Alright, hold on. Oh, boom. Yeah, tell me that's not completely useless. Yep. This, the games really make this out to be more complicated than it used to be. All you need to do, once you have one, press L. Hold on, Elnar, press B, detonate it. This is pretty good for mind games, but honestly, that implies you have to get closer to begin with. Alright. And really trivial bullshit, and we can get this Let's Play underway. Yay! So that was, that was just a new sub add to the game. Well, on top of this beautiful as hell presentation that I can't get enough of. Okay, new game, but first I gotta use the bathroom.